I want you to imagine that I am a gay man. Now, this is all well and good, but if I lived in Nigeria, I would be imprisoned or put to death under federal law. If I lived in Russia, I would be attacked in the streets and the police would not respond. And if I lived in 17 of the states in America, I could not marry the person I love. A lot of people make speeches about gay rights, legalization, and awareness programs to tackle homophobia. I want to talk about none of that today, although it's all really important. Today I want to talk about what we can do. Now, at the outset, I want to say that this speech comes with no judgments, because I don't have the right answer. But I do believe that there are two key messages. Number one, if you're not going to feed the birds, don't feed the pigeons. And number two, speak against the majority to defend the minority. So, if you're not going to feed the birds, don't feed the pigeons. A few years ago, a friend and I visited a bird center, and at the entrance, there was a list of rules. Amongst other things, it said, do not feed the birds. What baffled us was that beneath this, it said, do not feed the pigeons. Yet surely they fall under the same category. And if all birds are birds, then all people are people. Therefore, our differences do not justify mistreatment of any kind. Our differences do not divide us, but unite us as humans. I'd like to quote Maya Angelou. We are more alike than unalike. Outside Hackney Town Hall, there's a plaque, and it states, the hallmark of a civil society is how we treat our minorities. I believe this can be directly applied to each and every one of us. And we need to ask ourselves the questions. Why are we not proud of this diversity? Why are we afraid to support people who are bisexual and celebrate people who are transgender? Why do we not speak against the majority to defend the minority? 61 years ago, Alan Turing, the man who cracked the Enigma Code, was convicted for his sexuality by the country he had helped to save. Yet I believe Alan Turing's struggle is ongoing because the struggle for gay rights and equality is real today. Around 100 LGBT hate crimes are recorded each week, yet this number is estimated to be much greater as two-thirds do not report their abuse. Progress has been made, but we need to continue to challenge ignorant mentalities. Don't be a bystander. Thank you.